Hello, uh, Daniel here, and I'm just going to do a quick video about um, a Vax Cordus vacuum that we purchased. It's the this is the Slim Vac. It's the pet edition. Now, if you've got one of these, you'll know how how good they are, and you've probably also considered what sort of maintenance you need to do. So, if we start with the basics first, obviously check the tube every now and then, make sure there's no nothing built up. If there is, blow it, put a stick down there, and make sure these contacts here are clear. You can always use a bit of electrical contact cleaner, otherwise the brush bar that this connects to won't work. Same for the other side, just make sure they're clear. We haven't had this for very long, so that's, that's the first bit. Um, second bit, the motorised brush head. This is really quite important, it picks up pet hair etc. Obviously check it, a bit of fluff in there, the usual. Um, and this you can keep this perspex clear so you can see if it's working or not. And with this particular model, it's quite a good design. It comes off like that, and this pulls out. And I would usually just go in there and just just wipe just wipe this like this. Uh, just keep it all nice and clean, and so everything's working right, etc. Um, this has got a bit of hair on it. See, so what you'd want to do is basically you'd want to pull all that off, chuck that in the bin. I'll do that in a minute. And then um, this goes a certain way. It's got little locating lugs. They go in there. So that's important. So you've got to keep your brush bar clean and make sure this here is free in here is free as well. Now, if you keep everything clean on this, it should be should work fine for years and years. It's when they get blocked that's the problem, and they're not maintained. The next the next thing important thing is. In here there is a rubber flap Oops. And, and when you pull the trigger you can see it opens it's obviously so when you tip it I'll do that show you again. yeah as you can see that's how that works and when you tip it like this it's stop all the dust falling out when it's not on that's obviously a good sign feature as I said before with the electrical contacts make sure there's nothing in it here um, right, next part, obviously this is the emptying part there, it's got various fluff and stuff. So we can take this off by that. So with the dust container, get rid of any obvious fluff and just wipe it round and keep it nice and clean. You can you put a bit of rubber treatment on this, it depends how, how far and just just keep it really clean. That's that bit done really, it's not much to that. And then this thing here comes off. Now, this thing here is a fine mesh, and what you wanna do is just gently like that, don't wash this thing. Well, you can, but you need to make sure it's thoroughly dry. Take all the fluff off first, and then you can wash all this out, but make sure it's dry, don't put it back on while it's damp. And this thing here, just you can just dust that off into a bin. Um, another important thing is make sure you don't get any build up of stuff around this seal. Rubber seals are really important on things like this because it keeps the suction, just wipe it round. Like that. So that's those bits done, so that just goes back on there like that. Like that. And yeah. You can just give everything a good good wipe basically. How do you align this up when you put it back? Uh, well this particular model, as you can see, is a lock and an unlock. You, there's a locating lug in there and you push that down onto that where it's got the lock icon then you go clockwise and that is on, that's as simple as that. Now, I always find this a bit tricky to get in here, hang on. Um, let me just look at this a minute. Now that just pushes literally straight up, that's in there. And then the other thing on here is something called the post motor filter, which is this thing here. So this thing can just come straight off. You'd be better off just holding it down a bit. Yeah. So people can see yeah. it. Yeah, this thing comes straight off. As you can see, there's quite a bit of dust in there. You can just bang that into a bin and wash it. So that is how you can maintain your cordless vacuum. If you've got one of these models, then it's you want it to run right you need to maintain it just do it like once a week once a month depending on how much you use it
Hopefully that helps. If you've got any questions, ask me. Thanks for watching.